today about radio frequency microneedling uh, versus fractional CO2 uh, laser. Uh, both procedures are uh, semi-invasive and we are using them on treating different type of scars, um, stretch marks. Um, uh, they are helping on um, skin rejuvenation uh, treatments like uh, lifting, tightening the skin. Uh, radiofrequency microneedling will use um, uh, disposable uh, tips with a number of uh, needles, which is preset by from the company. They will uh, puncture the skin, uh, reaching the dermal level, where they will uh, cause a coagulation of the collagen, uh, triggering the repairing mode of the body to rebuild back a new, fresher one. Fractional CO2 laser will burn columns of skin, pixel size, the size of a hair in the skin, but the effect will be from the epidermis to the dermis, means will be working even on the uneven skin, on the um, evening the skin color beside the uh, tightening effect uh, on the scars or uh, on the collagen. The difference is that the downtime is a little bit longer for fractional CO2 laser, taking up to seven days, seven to 10 days, while um, uh, radiofrequency microneedling uh, will be having only like three to five days the downtime. Uh, for both procedures, the patient has to follow strict rules to apply uh, uh, dedicated uh, balms to help on uh, faster recovery the skin, to avoid the direct sun exposure, uh, the swimming pool, the beach, and uh, uh, to avoid the uh, side effects. Uh, most probably uh, the upsetting one are the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Uh, in a treatment for the same uh, uh, patient, we can use a combination of both radiofrequency microneedling and fractional CO2 according with the um, uh, lifestyle. And now I'm thinking to cabin crew, which uh, they won't have maybe time for seven days of recovery for fractional CO2. In this case, we will choose the radio frequency microneedling. Uh, at the consultation time, we decide which uh, uh, treatment will be suitable uh, to you and to your skin condition. Consultation is free in uh, our clinic.